You know what time it is. Oh. It's time for me to bump my leg on a thing. Shelf? Shelf. I guess. It's like a drawer because it like slides in and out. But it's not a drawer because it's not like a box. Do we? We didn't win. Fuck. God damn it. Piss ass shit fart. Cool. Good to know. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's see. What do we got? Swap. Swap them. Mm, I could choose a card. It's not that bad. Increases chances of getting Echo Form in Act 1. Or other juicy baloney. Which would be all baloney. All well made baloney, let's say. I guess you could have poorly made, unjuicy baloney, but. We don't talk about that. That looks like the path for me. Sunder? What are we fighting? Hexa Ghost. Yeah! Yeah, I'll take a Sunder. Mmm, bird! That was my bird impression. I assume that besides saying my power is unmatched and Kaka, the only other thing that cultists say is mm, bird. I have a Sunder, which is a lot of damage in one card. Greetings, Disputes. Live live commentary. Is it live though? It's not not live for people on YouTube, because like they can see your message down there. Yeah, I think we'll take the cool-headed, uh, just because I've already got the Sunder. It's a lot of damage packaged in, like, one card pick. Um, I already have two different orb types. Problem is with Compile Driver drawing into Sunder. Then I become a sad man, but Cool Headed does the same thing. I'm gonna be a safety boy. Perfect. Alrighty, Disputes. Perfect. Um, I don't have a great block card, but I don't know that I want a great block card this early. I haven't gotten that much damage, and self-repair extends our lifespan by large amounts. Okay. Hold up, give me one hot second. Okay, where were we? Oh. Greetings, live high. Howdy, JMM. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Reasonably large oof. Um, 
If this Sunder were on sale, I might take a second one, but it's not, so... I won't. I'm not feeling Steroid Potion with a lot of our damage coming from Sunder. This is the third cool headed I've seen. That's the thing with this game, it's like, it's not just about finding the right cards, it's about finding the right cards at the right times. It's like, this is not the right time for cool headed. Uh... Buy a skill potion and hope to make use of it in the future. Cool. Oh, our first event was a fucking hallway fight? Ew. Fucking ew, dog. I'm gonna drink the potion. I'm gonna play Equilibrium. Which is gonna let me sunder this bat. Oh, no, it's not. He's about to make me weak. He's about to make me weak. I sunder him now. Brain power. Alright. Like eight? Should give me time to play self repair though. Mmm. Nine damage total? Not ideal. Equilibrium is pretty good. Yeah! Let's uh, hold equilibrium because then I could just. Oh, he's making me weak. Fuck! Did I say hold equilibrium? I did. Uh, he still dies, right? Because 18 plus 6 is 24. Cool. More frost orbs, more damage. Let's see. Gives us a frost orb for centuries. Gives us a frost orb for Lagavulin. Gives us a frost orb for Gremlin Nov. Yeah, I'll take it. It's uh, the big boy. Do I want to drink a stink? I don't have any scaling yet, and I might need it to kill Hexaghost. On the flip side, dying is bad. I wonder which card I'm playing this turn. Hey. <laughs> it was Echo Form. Spoilers? Oh, my bah. Bah. Wah. If I don't double strike, he doesn't die this turn. Disappointed. Disappointed. Can I get a disappointed in chat? <sighs> disappointed! Thank you very much, Live High. FDL and Claw. Claw. I mean, FDL is generally better than Claw because it's like it does two more damage and draws a card. Oh, I didn't even notice. Thank you, JMM. I just looked at whatever message was right above Garf Bods. Ha 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 ha. If I get like three claws, then I guess it's maybe scaling. I'm gonna take FTL. Okay, that power potion means I don't have to nap here. Ooh. I've. <laughs> Thank you, Dismutes. Dismutes? Disputes. Buh. I think I'm upgrading the Sunder. It's really good against Sentries. And it's not bad against Hexaghost. Who asked what question? Oh, how's it going? Gotcha. Well, I mean, you can, you can see how it's going. You can see my cards. You can see my relics. It's going. He's making mac and cheese, Belfigor. Mac and cheese. This is about to suck my nuts. Okay. 
Puts us in a pretty good spot. Went to make make and cheese. Make and cheese. Make and cheese, Belfigor. Hey, look. Die. I think you die. Mm, yes, I think you die. A uh, defend actually blocks more than a strike does here, so I'm gonna do that. Oh, hey, I full blocked. Neat. Turns out I could have struck him and still full blocked. But who the fuck does math in this day and age? Who who are we pleases? What were we pleases pleases are in Jesus sing for? I'm not very tired at all. I went to bed. Turn one. Why was I pleases pleases sing? What was I pleased to sing RN Jesus for? Did I not play? I didn't even play self repair, did I? The Slim Slam was not that important. I did not play self repair. Disappointed. <laughs> Fuck. Ah, oh, these sure are cards. This sure is a deck. down to 45 okay removing uh, two strikes is pretty good I think now I'm upgrading zap yeah none of these other upgrades look that good Does 32 damage? Perfect. So we have one sentry ready to die. Perfect. Good news, you're out of bad news. Never out of bad news. Hmm. I don't think I'm playing self-repair here. And I don't think I want to compile driver because if I accidentally compile driver into Sunder, I'm gonna be a very sad man. I'm guaranteed to draw Sunder next turn, which means this idiot is guaranteed to die next turn. Which means I just double strike this guy. Mm. Good job, Lightning Orb. And I've got Pen Nib. I just reshuffled my draw pile without Sunder in it. Perfect. That was not the smartest. Kill him? Fuck. Only working seven and a half hours. Kill this guy. Well, actually, I was gonna say because uh, Sunder will just kill him, and then I'm like, I don't have a fucking Sunder, and I'm not gonna have a fucking Sunder. <sighs> Played that wrong for sure. One thing I didn't do is I didn't have any toast today, so I haven't actually consumed any carbs. And it's like, I can feel it, like, my brain, like, actually feels di like different. It's just like. I've got the dumb feel. You know what I mean? I'll take a charge battery. Like, I can't even sit and properly think about what I'm doing. I'm just like looking at things that like sound right and then being like, yeah, pick that one. I don't know, I might have to, might have to take a toast break. Transform. Oui, oui. Uh -huh. <laughs> Fucking turning into Yoda. 100 claws? Hmm. You... I don't think you can get 100 claws. 
I'm not sure you can get 100 cards in your deck. I'm trying to think of how you possibly could. Not counting, like, Dead Branch or, like, for one fight or something. Nilri's Codex. I'm talking about, like, in your actual deck, not your draw pile. <laughs> Mind Blast setup. Boss will send me home if I'm really sick, or I say, or say I'm really sick. So I can't tell them I'm sick, but I can imply that I'm sick. No, 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 no. I mean, in, like, when the number up here being 100 cards. Howdy, Demon King. Like, yeah, obviously, also, you don't need Prism? To get over 100 cards in your draw pile with dual wield? I don't know why Prism's there. Or you mean me getting dual wield on defect? I meant in general. You can't get 100 cards in your deck. Oh, for the claw. I was more talking about just 100 cards in general at this point. What if I don't nap and instead fight? Yeah, there are- you could get a hundred claws over and over and over again, I guess. Should I pick something for kunai? Hmm. Perhaps. I think I'm waiting on this bias cog. This first turn sucks. We saw orange pellets in the first shop ever. I'll use one of these. Okay, got a kunai. Kunai prong. Spinning top in a one card deck of claw. That doesn't work against the heart. I guess I'll play self repair. Two dexterity. Your focus is going down, though. Uh, he's also kind of dying. I think I want to keep these frost orbs for next turn. Or not next turn, two turns from now. No, it's not going to matter nearly as much two turns from now. Yes! He's only got 17 health left. What am I taking? 27... Excuse me, minus 4 is 23. 36. He's dealing 13, so I just like have to throw this. Okay, well, good news is he's guaranteed dead next turn. He's gonna take two damage from lightning if nothing else. Cool, die. I mean... Core Surge helps stack Kunai, but Echo Form helps stack Kunai. Because if you just play an attack as your first card, it happens twice. I'm clicking on Echo Form. Mm, 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 mm. I just, I became an ATV for a second there. Don't mind me, it happens sometimes. Um, we could take Coffee Dripper and try to, try to do this. I think I might make some toast. 
before I keep going. So as to improve my chances of making the big brain plays. Turns out my brain was just made of toast the entire time. And so if I don't have it, my brain shrinks. Call me Senior Breadhead. There's obviously like chokers, just like the easy baby one. I transformed a strike into a bias cog and hacked one. That's that's a pretty good transform. It's hard to get a transform better than that. That probably saved me. Yeah, I know I have. This run gets caffeinated. No, 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 no. Not caffeine. Merely toast. And it's a uh, carbohydrated. I'm aware of Figor. I literally said that out loud myself. Left four energy. Kunai. I don't have any relics that help, like, right at the start of a fight. I have scaling stuff. Well, Happy Flower can. Played at the right time. I would love to see the Warp Tongs event, because we can blue candle out the pain. <laughs> That's fine, Belphegor. Yeah, we'll take the dripper. Alright, I'm gonna start making some toast. I'll be right back. This doesn't- oh, Jesus. It's not gonna take very long. And I'll- I'll do it in stages. Give me one sec. Alright, toast is in the toaster. Um, I have no means of reminding myself to go check on the toast, so... Uh... I hope I remember. Great plan. Top tier. Uh, what are we good at fighting? Slavers? Uh, I guess it really depends. I need some card draw. I need to be able to dig for this echo form. Got a single cool headed. You know what? <laughs> Maybe that's not so yikes. Well, this is like three elites. Three bonfires. How good are bonfires? Mm. Upgrade self-repair, upgrade cool-headed, upgrade charge battery. I have to go through at least two. And if I don't fight a third, then I have to just fight two more hallway fights. Two more hallway fights might actually be better than an elite. As far as, like, how much health I'll lose, because that's potentially a 20 HP heal. The user's enchant thing does not update for me. Uh -huh. <laughs> that's That sounds like a problem between you and Papa Twitch. I don't know what to say. Okay, so what do we got? What are we afraid of this being? Probably plus strength book of stabbing. Yeah, plus strength book of stabbing. Would ruin my body and soul. Or 
They're not very well suited for fighting book of stabbing. Let's see how many fights are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, or seven. Going this way, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's like more opportunities to use self-repair. I think the big problem is I don't get to upgrade self-repair before fighting the first elite. I think that actually makes a pretty big difference. Hmm. 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 God, I wish we could have gotten orange pellets. Oh, echo form, bias cock, orange pellets. Oh. You just don't even need more focus in your deck at that point. So we're taking 23 damage. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. Not getting damage in nearly as quickly as I'd like to. He said out loud, unironically. <laughs> Got him. I don't want any of these. Yeah. Thank you very much, Reginald Ghost. I suppose I will check on that toast. Shred the tip, crackhead! I'll grab 
my brain toast. What? What? What's Shinny? Who's Esther Tony? What happened? Who's Donald Jumper? Thank you for the gift sub to Iggy Dota. Also, howdy, Iggy. Uh, Demon King, thank you for the resub or gift sub. Whoever subbed, Reginald Ghost, was that a new sub? Someone subbed. People subbed. Thank you. Subscriptions. Thumbs up. Huh. I went to go butter my toast, and then my butter wasn't in the butter spot. So first I was afraid. And then I was petrified. And then I remembered, oh wait, I put the butter somewhere else. And then I grabbed the butter. And then it was it was cool, I was fine. I took out that trash like four days ago. Making sure I don't watch a fire. Who's a fire? What? Not playing bias cog here feels like sad man times. Well, Sad man times it is, then. Oops. Shit. Ah, piss. God damn it. I turn away from the screen for one fucking second, and I've already- I've already fucking screwed the pooch. Nobody die. That would be a, a big problem. No. My body. I like that. Why well, you gotta be such a meanie peeny? Get on the floor, bitch. I'm gonna kill this one. Mmm. Perfect. Perfect. I don't like what this man's up to. Okay, more than enough block, perfect. Mmm. I think I'll take a capacity plus. We're fighting the champ, aren't we? Yeah. Gonna need some big boy moves. You know, I didn't want to nap in this bonfire. I wanted to upgrade self repair. But I might have to nap. Me too, Disputes. Me too. I'll go down to 19 health. Or... i take the Decay. It only impacts me once per fight. some honey on my plate. I'm gonna take the decay. Okay. Okay. I'm not gonna play the capacitor. Mm 
Hmm? This turn sucks. Hold up. Okay, it's not as bad. It's still pretty bad. Another 10 damage. I'm taking 20 damage so far. 21, apparently. Can't count. I need to be careful not to accidentally kill him with lightning. Okay. What about napping? Oh yeah, you're right, I can't nap. Right, I said I didn't want to nap. Hmm. Ah, uh, Yahoo. Yeah, I was digging for some block. Uh, self-repair. No. Fuck! If I compile driver him, Ooh. he doesn't die, but he probably dies next turn. Thank you very much, Demon King. If I claw defend, he goes down to four. I'll have two dexterity. I'll put this at seven, which puts it down to five. Take one. Is this is this is his first attack? Fuck. These will block for six each. These will block for eight each. That's enough, right there. Problem is I've got like two turns to kill him. Or two turns to redraw self-repair. Because otherwise the lightning orb just kills him. Or wait, no, 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 no. He's going to go down to four. The lightning orb kills him next turn. Yeah, okay. Um, in that case, I guess I just win. Cool. Genetic algorithm seems pretty good. Yes, I was stalling to get the double self-repair out of echo form. Well, I mean, hmm. Yeah, no. I'm kind of using the blue candle currently. Normally, I'd be fine giving it up. Green Heimerdinger. This seems like dying. Seems like dying. Might have to use a power potion here. Oh my fucking god. It had to be the big boy. Um, hmm. No, neither of these are that good. That's a big oof. I could have given him Dripper, but then I don't have four energy. <laughs> oh god damn it! Which fight? It was it was really like oh god. Yeah. Well it was a couple of fights. It was the bird fight and the snake plant fight. I mean, it's too late now. I 
I can try and double this later. That one. <laughs> Please. Uh, do I capacitor here or do I just hit him? I think maybe I just hit him. If I play this one out, I think it'll play it twice. So let's not do that. I'm already sitting at 32 block. Okie dokie, big boy. Oh, good. Self repair and genetic algorithm in the same hand. Um, 24, 34. Should be good. Okay. Didn't get to play Genetic Algorithm, but I did heal 20. I have more health than I did at the start of the fight. I had to use a Power Potion, though. Ho, who? Hmm. 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 Double Echo Form. Double Echo Form is enough to kill the big boy. We've got a bit of digging power. Uh, oh, I'm cool. All right, I need to not die. That's priority numero uno. I didn't get very many good cards. I got basic cards and Sunder plus six plus 32 is only 38. These would both have to hit Backslaver for him to die this turn. However, if I don't block, I die. So... Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Am I already dead? Yep. Yep. Centennial put no. Whatever. That was it. That was the GG. Fuck, man. Yeah, if we'd taken less damage during like the first chunk of the act and gotten through that turn, we Stop. could have potentially gone to Insano Land. Man, I've had like a very mild headache for like three days running now. <sighs> it's really annoying the shit out of me. Curse. Curse of the mango. It's not the, that's not the worst curse I can imagine. That's unfortunate to hear disputes. Um, okay, so I think we're probably just gonna do something like that, which means probably not taking the curse. Or, well, let's see, one, two, three. Oh, it's only like four hallway fights. Which, whereas that is like six hallway fights? Yeah, okay. So what are my other options? Oh, 100 gold's not bad either for going to an early shop like that. I guess it's not that early, but it's like, Early enough. Sure. 
You dare attack me? Not today. I mean, yeah, he did technically, literally attack me, but it doesn't matter because we're block boys. Uh, eight, nine, no. Not enough. If I had a third strike, I could have killed him. Or Street Fighter 3 when you need it. Anger? Yeah, looks like we're. It's time to manage our anger. Yeah. That'll put me at above 300 gold by the time we hit that shop. Which. I think is a fine amount of gold to have. If I could, like, always have 900 gold, no matter what, that would be pretty cool. Maybe someday. Uh, beep, beep, beep. Yeah, I'll kill him. Taking the trance. It's gotta be one of Ironclad's best on commons. I mean, I guess it's competing with corruption. Corruption's really good, and spot weakness. Spot weakness is really good. Nine hundred gold. I think that's probably worth a lot more than that. I think an actual gold coin would be worth. Like, isn't gold worth something like 20 something dollars an ounce or something? Not yet, it's not just the ring. Greening Stoof Master. Not yet, it's not. <sighs> Thunderclap, Twin Strike. Thunderclap keeps vulnerable. It gets rid of all of the artifacts on sentries. I don't have any strength scaling, so I am gonna need some scaling for the uh, Hexaghost. I think I like the Thunderclap here. Hmm. Hmm. Alpha? No, this is like live. I've played modded Slay the Spire, like once ever. Will I ever do it? I don't know. Do I plan on doing it anytime in the foreseeable future? Not particularly. It's not impossible, but it's not, uh, not something I strive to do. I'm going to do this because I still get four block out of it, whereas if I just play the defense, I don't get to deal damage. Do I want to dig? Do I have, like, a better play? Kinda. I'd rather have two strikes than the strike bash, because then I can still block. Yeah. And it lets me dig through dazes, so... That's really a bad thing. Ornamental Fan is unlikely to proc for the rest of the fight, however. Eighteen damage, beautiful. Oh hey! Turns out I was wrong. Eighteen damage and four block, I'll take it. Okay, there are three angers in there and a thunderclap. Not enough. Okay, I definitely took more damage than I thought I would. That seems to happen, like, every single time I fight the, uh, sentries. Eokinesis is a bit of a big boy move.
My talent slice is like fine for blocking some damage. What does Battle Trance do? Battle Trance lets me put more angers in my deck. Which lets me proc Ornamental Fan more often? I think I'm upgrading Anger here. Alright, what do you got? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I need to figure out what I can still afford after I get that... Uh, Wow, this is an insanely good shop. Howdy, Nylanth. Or Nylath. It's like, Limit Break, Fiendfire, Apotheosis. Good relics all across the board. Fire Breathing's not great, but... Okay. After spending 209, I'll have 141. I won't be able to grab Pocket Watch. But I have two battle trances in the deck, so I don't really need pocket watch. I think I am grabbing this though. Yeah, we don't have any strength, so I'm not actually gonna grab limit break. This is a very early singing bowl. But then that means giving up apotheosis. Apotheosis is probably better. Singing bowl is a lot better on classes that don't have other ways to gain. Max HP. Or if you've got, like, Prayer Wheel, I guess. And card remove. Ah. Trick with card. Oh, you mean membership card. Yeah. Well, that's what I was doing. I was, like, trying to do the math on what other things I'd be able to afford. Yeah, I'm probably gonna pick up a couple more attacks from this point. Who could we beat without napping? If I upgraded, say, Bash... We could have... It wouldn't be the first time I've had two apotheo apotheosises in the deck. Apotheoses? I think apotheoses is the plural. Um, I think the chances that we don't die to Gremlin Knob or Lagavulin are basically zero. So, I'm going to nap. Bottle Lightning would be pretty good here. For once. Hmm. I think I'm gonna bum rush this guy. No, this would not have killed. Okay. So I'm about to take another seven. Okay, it's a pretty good turn. Yeah. No, Nylath had it right. Bottled Lightning is the one we want. Right. <laughs> we have Apotheosis and Molten Egg. Hmm. Should have skipped the Molten Egg, maybe? I don't know. It's hard to say. This fucking cable, holy shit. I need, like, a clip or something that I can attach so that it stops drooping. I think clothesline is fine. Three weak. Yeah. I don't really need the card draw from Pommel Strike. No! Wait. That's kind of like having 300 gold. I'm not going to a shop. Again, if we had if we had a relic that synergized with Oh, it is a skill though. Apotheosis. If we had a relic that synergized with curses, then I could be convinced to go for it. Oh. 
Sorry, Belfigor. Um, yeah, I'm still gonna play it. Because it adds, like, a ton of damage to the deck. Hello. Back in the hole with you. I could battle trans and just, like, pray. No, I would need two angers. And there's only two angers, so I'm not gonna... That's my body, good sir. Please refrain. Uh... Suddenly wishing I took the fucking singing bowl. I mean, that's an upgraded ML8. That's an upgraded true get. That's an upgraded ML8. Yeah, Pothios has just got a lot worse. Fucking paper frog. I'm gonna nap. Because what the fuck am I gonna upgrade? Like, actually. Apotheosis? Battle trance? Oh. Turn one thunderclap. Turn one thunderclap with an immolate plus and a paper frog. Get fucked. That was almost 70 damage. Debating whether I want to use an energy potion here, and I don't think I do. Remove Apotheos. No, 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 no. Apotheos is staying in the deck. The only way it's getting removed is if we go to Bonfire Spirits. Then I'll give them Apotheosis. Apotheosis still hits powers. And it still hits, you know, all my basic cards. And both my battle trances and thunderclap. So it is not, uh, it's not useless. Oh my god, again? Holy shit. <laughs> Don't mind me. Oh, the whole video game stopped. <laughs> it's like, really stopped. Not responding. Uh-oh. Come on. You can do it. I believe in you, computer. I believe... There we go. Now we got it. I have not bashed this man once. Which has severely limited my damage output. We're still pretty good though. Got him down to 69. Aha! Oh. There. Die? If I had a source of strength, Fiendfire Plus seems pretty good with two battle trances in the deck. I would love a fourth energy. However, Tiny House is a... Or not Tiny House. Coffee Drifter is kind of risky. Yeah, I'm at a point now where... If I saw Bottled Lightning and Bottled Flame, I could actually put, like, Battle Trance and Fiend Fire in opening hand and just, like, blow out one enemy the first turn of every fight. I mean, we have no strength, so Limit Break Plus literally doesn't do anything. It's not even a slime anymore, because it's upgraded. It's it's worse than a slime. I might be taking the Empty Cage. Because, like, the card upgrade from Tiny House doesn't do very much. That's an oof. I'll probably have strength soon, but I have to, like, win my fights. I have, like, 412 gold. Yeah, I think I'll go to that shop. I actually probably could have gotten away with a coffee dripper here. 
considering the way the elites are spaced. Yeah, the only ways for me to hit like two elites also avoid me hitting any bonfires. So that doesn't seem swell. I'm just gonna like go up this way, I guess. I have 10 block. Thanks, Anchor. Thank her. You really gotta be like that? You really gotta be like that? I could do four and then four and then six? It's like 14, that's not enough. Thank you very much, Belfi Gore. I guess I start working on some of the buffing boys. Could have maybe used an energy potion. There's the battle trances. Way down at the bottom, are ye? Was that another eight? Holy shit. Ugh, I can't even play Bash and Immolate. Unless I use my energy potion here. Get out of here. That was a pretty good energy potion, I think. Uh, who? Should probably grab a sword boomerang for now. Find the strength for later. I think I'm gonna take Offering Plus. I think I'm gonna take that one. I cannot afford Offering Plus and Champion Belt. I can afford Offering Plus and Medical Kit, though. And so I shall. Good shop, let's go. Oh, we found the thing. We found the thing? We found the- well, I was hoping for it maybe a little later. Here you go. 85 maximum HP. Oh, I could go this way. I could fight two elites going this way. It'd be easy peasy. Can you imagine if I had a golden idol? Hello. I'm gonna- Battle trance. Fuck, I was looking for immolate. <sighs> That's funny. Cool. Die? I'd say that was a pretty good turn one. This anchor's being like a total champ. See you later. Alright, paid six life, gained six life. Mm, no. My like non attack cards are gonna be pretty good because they're gonna be skills and they're gonna block a lot. Also, I already have a medical kit. I don't have a feel no pain though. Ah. No! Wow, how many rares have I seen in, in a shop? Ooh. I've seen like 10 rares across like three shops. I'll buy a 28 cold power potion. It's like too good to pass up. Oh yeah, we're going here because I have... Yeah, I totally could have given up coffee dripper. Uh, that one? I'm kind of missing the fucking Emily. Where be- hold up. 
Wait, hold up. Hold up. Fifteen times nine. Ninety. It's like a hundred and forty five. Right? No, 135. <laughs> yeah. Sanger does less damage. Fuck. Shit. It should. Oh, right! I have a paper frog. 17 times 9. 7 times 9 is 63. So that should be 153. I can't anger then trance. I already played battle trance. That would just be removing two cards from my hand. Hey, yeah, I totally could have taken coffee dripper. Uh, absolutely dropping this. Flex Potion is pretty huge. Do I want to have it plus? I'll take a Havoc plus. There are things we can do with it later. That one. Having a fourth energy relic would be pretty cool. Could have angered before the first trance. No, then I would have had nine cards instead of ten. No, I'd already set it up so that I was getting exactly ten cards. That was already taken care of. I only need to do 50 damage, which means I can do like that. That. And that. And this. Goodbye. No, it didn't discard one. It was exactly ten. Mm. Impervious seems like a decent card. Like a decent card. Getting to the point where I could really use a corruption. Upgrade. Man, you know what? I think I'm actually going to upgrade Bash. Because I could really use some more vulnerable. Considering the Paper Frog. Could also make an argument for Battle Trance. But so far my hands have been like too full. On account of offering. Uh... What do we want this on? Probably like zero. Well, yeah, because they'd get up upgraded by the um, apotheosis, which is no longer with us. Yeah, I'll I'll deal seventy damage here. Hold up. I have a steroid potion. I could deal... What? 105 damage? Mm. Nah, I think we're good. Fuck. I cannot impervious and immolate at the same time. Or can I? Really? Still no thunderclap? God damn it.
Havoc for the clap chance? Mm, well, it wouldn't have worked. Clicked outside the screen. Hmm. Oh, hooray! I was like, fuck, it's not gonna work. But Paper Frog makes it work. Hello. Yeah, really, yeah, I've got a blue candle and a medical kit now. No. Perfect. Thunderclap, thunderclap, thunderclap. God damn it. Still gonna do it? I'm gonna bash you. Yeah. I do not have a feeling of pain. And playing those... Oh, hello. So I don't need very, very much stuff to kill you here. Hooray! Oh. Fuck! That's a lot of days is coming up. I shouldn't have played that Havoc at all. Do I need to fiend fire here? Not really. I'm just like, do that. Take six. <laughs> Goodbye. Stop. <laughs> Stop! You know, we're fighting Collector. Fuck it. Give me two Immolates. Even more hallway fights. Die? Yeah. A little bit of overkill, but still. Worked out pretty well for me, I'd say. Havoc for funsies. The most funsies. I still have no strength. St still none. Uh... Oh, hey. Oh. That's a very sad turn one. Oh boy. God damn it. It had to be fucking Sneko. Right at the end. After everything else. <sighs> Let's just do it. Can I kill you? Yes. Alright. Probably needed to wait for like one turn. I didn't even get, like, a Necronomicon or anything. Fuck. I don't think I need the Whirlwind, because I have two Immolate Pluses, and I only have three energy. I... don't think our deck got much better. <laughs> I mean, we did pick up three rares, but, like... The shop was, like, okay... Yeah, it's mostly the fact that I have two eggs that have gotten me this far. Alright. Gonna suck back this bad boy. Which do I like better? Feel No Pain sets me up for a big block turn with Fiend Fire. I think we can just blow this man out. Regardless. See, now here I haven't played Battle Trance. And this is Battle Trance Plus, so I can actually... Hold up. Do I need to, though? That's the real question. It's like, I could, like, really fucking annihilate him here. I don't think I need to. That 
Thank you very much for the gift sub, Elphigor, and congratulations, Nylaf. Welcome. Welcome to the Mathletes. Yeah, how much damage is this? Yeah, I don't- I could have killed him. I could have just killed him turn one, but... I don't think I need to. Something tells me that, uh, I'm gonna manage this. Just fine. Got him. You got come on twice. There are no actual powers in this deck. Just FYI. <sighs> Thank you, disputes. I mean, if we didn't win that turn, it didn't matter that much because I was like nearly full blocking. Yeah, we're not taking Juggernaut. I guess I'll take Limit Break Plus and hope to make things happen. Is Pyramid any good? I mean, it's good with Fiendfire, but like, we can already, we can already manage that. I think I'm taking Sozu. I got some pretty good potions as is. Yeah, we're just taking the Slurpee Straw. Uh, does it though? Remember, we were only on three energy, so it's like, it draws me, it refills my hand after Fiendfire, but it's like, I'm not going to be able to do that much. And then besides that, it, Dark Embrace does basically nothing else in this deck. It's like Havoc offering Ascender's Bane and every time I play out a burn for my hand. Which literally hasn't happened yet. Again, it's like I hmm. For longer fights maybe, but it's like I've got more pressing matters. It doesn't help me kill anything. Limit Break might actually help me kill things. Okay, we got a very late shop. Okay. Pretty straightforward. Problem with the candles, like, I don't have any other curses, so it's like... Is armaments plus actually it's not that good it's really not <sighs> that's another skip can you imagine can you imagine if I got that fucking singing bowl instead of apotheosis I'd probably well I gained 10 max HP from that apotheosis how many cards huh, I haven't skipped that many card reward screens I'd probably have around the same amount of max health but I'd be still going On. If I had the first event be a fight every single act, I, I had it happen in Act 1. Or was that the defect run? I actually don't remember suddenly. I don't really need the impervious here. How the fuck am I killing this guy? Uh. Poorly? I'm gonna do this and then I'm gonna play Havoc and just like hope. Works for me. I don't know, how the fuck did I gain block? Oh, ornamental fan. I was just like, I gained block from Havoking into that and I'm not entirely certain how. Aha! Right, I 
need to think about incense burner. Probably just one on three. No, four. How afraid am I of Reptomancer on turn two? Not that afraid. Because I'll either have killed his daggers or her daggers on turn one, or I'll kill her daggers on turn two. So I'm actually not that afraid. So I actually want it on like... Either five or six for giant head. Perfect. All right, turns out I managed to just accidentally kill him. I will take a shrug it off. That's like the first reasonable pick I've seen in God knows how long. It's not even that good. Excuse me. I don't really need the 19 health. I don't see how two madness actually even helps me that much. Shit. I have choices. Orange pellets doesn't seem that great. Outside of like the hard fight. The hard fight's kind of important. It's like the one you do to win. Bottling uh, offering plus seems pretty good. I could also pick master of strategy and bottle that. Yeah, I can. Yeah, I've got enough gold. I have not napped. I think I napped once. I don't think I need a master of strategy. I really don't. With an offering plus and two battle trance pluses. Does it? <gasps> Orange pellets. Oh, n that's... <sighs> How many times am I going to get to do that? Uh, fucking none. This deck has no powers in it. Oh, it does get limit break going. I have to have them in the in my hand at the same time, though. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna buy it. If I see it, I'll grab it. But I'm not gonna buy it. If I had the, if I had gotten the event that upgrades all your strikes and defends, I might be tempted to take Entrench here. I think I'm still tempted to take it. Entrench plus for 20 gold is a very, very small price to pay for potentially actually building a, a run winning deck. There is a shop here. Okie dokie. No emulate. Makes me sad. That was a pretty big turn. Like I said, no emulate though. I need like a shockwave plus. Huh. Perfect. <laughs> yes. Okay. I need a source of strength and a headbutt now. Because now we can, like, limit our deck down with True Grit and start playing, like, a shitload of limit breaks by making our deck smaller. Yeah. I don't think I've seen a single headbutt. Hello, big boy. Four? Hmm. It's not the best. I 
How do I want to do this? <clears throat> I don't think I want to go for the biggest wing fire possible here. Because I think I want to save some cards. This might be the flex potion. I don't even know how much damage that would be because of the slow and uh, because right now this is like mm, 180, like 230 something damage. Yeah, it's not too bad. Could you not? God, I really wish I had some strength. Alright, alright. Don't think I need two battle trances. He's already weak. He stands a fairly good chance. Oh, he won't be vulnerable next turn, though. I think I still stand a pretty good chance of killing him next turn. Okay, mm. definitely getting rid of that one. Perhaps not. for 36 health. 36 health is... A, well, what the fuck am I even upgrading? Yeah, I've got like two bonfires. Just like grab the key and nap? Yeah. I found it! Found the source of strength. Oh, baby. Why did the commands command not work? Oh, because the bot is freezing the fuck out. There we go. Limit Break finally does something. <clears throat> no Vulnerable. Did I mention that I really wanted, like, a Shockwave? <laughs> there are a lot of things I'd really like that are just, like, not in this fucking deck. Oh my god, I minimized. Screen. So I probably want to line this up for four for this fight. I 
Can you imagine if I had gotten a Necronomicon? Then I probably would have grabbed Dark Embrace for what I think are obvious reasons. Because then, uh, doubling it actually works. Okay, well, he has 12 health, so he's just dead. Doesn't really matter what he does here. That Reaper would have been pretty sick, too. Another Shrug It Off. Another Shrug It Off seems fine. Considering Shrug It Off Plus, blocks for 11. Giving up the preserved insect, that's fine. Do I even nap here? Not napping keeps me in Red Skull. It's time to start upgrading defense. Alright, here we go. Oh me, oh my. Sweet cherry pie. Got him. No. I didn't set up my incense burner. Hmm, that's not good. Oh, probably should have thunderclapped. Whatever. Okay, that's some pretty good damage for turn one. I didn't see my second immolate either, did I? I did. Rot roast, spaghettios. I think I just like win the fight though? Because this is like a lot of damage. Perfect. Nunchaku. Once again, these are bad. I don't... How many fucking pommel strikes have I seen this run? Like, four or five? I've seen like two, three second wins, and it's just like... No, I really didn't want this card last time. Nothing, nothing has changed. I don't need Evolve. I have a, I have a, uh, I have a medical kit. It's like Evolve draws me one extra card every time I play <laughs> Immolate, which in most fights, it's like, no, no. That's just so very little. It's like machine learning is already kind of slow and not a very impactful power. That's like a third of a machine learning. It's just no. God, fuck it. I was looking for a way to make you vulnerable. 16 times 9 is not lethal. And Lord knows what he's gonna do after that. This is turn 1, right? Mm, whatever. Well, if we get a curse, we get a curse. Hooray! Blocked it. It's time for Metallicize. I guess it's time for Metallicize. This is like the third one we've seen. Okay, I've got a good chunk of money. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh. I've passed up on two Whirlwind Pluses so far. That's fine. I have Immolate Plus, so it's like, whatever. <sighs> I have one power. It doesn't even fucking give me strength. I guess I'm... Buying Magic Flower? Or I'm saving my money for the next shop. Yeah, because we're not going to get more money. Yeah, save money for next shop. Let's see, 
see you later. I think this is a nap, though. Means we don't start with any strength. But I'm sure that'll come to us. Doki Got my metallicize in play, boy howdy. Oh baby, seven block. Those were my bones. Hmm. Since burner about to go off, I can dig it. Wow. Sure are a lot of defends in the deck. Mm. Well, I guess that's how I'm blocking this turn. A barricade would have been pretty cool too, you know. For reasons. Just saying. Oh, cool. Thanks. Thanks, Sanchaku. Always a pal. Can I draw a limit break? Please? Thank you. Good news is this man is like actually kind of dying. Yeah, no headbutt. <sighs> Makes it a little rough. Although I am exhausting cards, making my deck thinner. I could block for five or I could be cool. And block for four while also dealing a bunch of damage. Speaking of damage, mm, yeah, I don't expect to beat the second fight. Uh, wow, wow, shit. Uh, fuck. Well, that looks like that's all over. Oh, ouch! Thank you very much, Tunnel Jumper. Give me one sec here. Oops. No, 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 no. Okay. Last run. Straight in the ooker? I don't know what that means. Night laugh. Three random potions, choose a card. Hmm. Hmm. It can mean anything you want it to mean. What does that mean? Right next to the flimbus. I'll have you know there's nothing next to my flimbus. I keep it all by itself on the mantle. So, I don't know what you're talking about. This looks like a rough act. I didn't even look at the boss. It's always the slime. It's always the slime. We'll take Predator. Have you know I keep my flimbus entirely segregated for tax reasons. No. I did not have a flimbock to me. I have an extra flimbus.
Don't ask me where I got it. I'm not liking any of these cards. <laughs> Not like in any of this shop. Not like in any of this bird. Where do you get a bird sk Like, that skull's huge. Also, I don't think the beak is part of the skull. I don't think there's bone in the beak. I think it's like chitin or something. I'm sorry, Disputes. Getting the flask. Take a flask. And just hope we don't find Gremlin Knob. I love it when that's the game plan. Just pray to Arn Jesus. And it'll be alright. Just don't think forehead. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, I think despite my much napping tonight, I think I need more sleep. I think I'm more tired than I realized. Cause I'm definitely not in the not in the spire slaying brain zone. I'll take noxious fumes. There's no reason not to do not to like go here and then decide whether I'm fighting one or two elites. Except eleven hours. Cool. See, I need 10, like, 10 hours is my good night's sleep. If I don't get 10 hours, then I'm losing sleep. So, like, I slept 11 hours last night, and then I napped for 3 hours. Uh, but because I lost so much sleep over the last, like, week and a half, I'm, like, still behind on sleep. Because sleeping 8 hours puts me behind 2 hours on sleep, so it's just, like... Yeah. That's the world I live in. I'm gonna just, like, upgrade Noxious Fumes because I've lost control of my life. You know, I've never made pudding before. I like the double fire potion. I'm going to nap, and I'm gonna see if I can get through two elites with two fire potions. And a mango! Hello! That increases my chances. A thiefy boy! Get out of here! Get out of here! Get out of here! Fuck off! Fuck off! Oh, I've got like... Energy for days. Thanks, uh... Ancient tea set. It doesn't look that ancient. It looks like a regular tea set. Am I being bamboozled? Potentially. Die? This is 21 damage. Cool. Poison got him. I think a dagger spray is pretty neat here. Lagavulin. The one, the only. I'm gonna wait until I can either... Well, till next turn. And hope for either Bouncing Flask or Predator. Perfect. Now the Awakening. Uh, he's already got 11 poison, so I can focus a bit more defensively here. As opposed to playing the Predator. Nine is average for me. And six or seven for about a week. See, for me, that's like eight. I can do like a week of eight hours a night. But like, I, it's a slow decline from there. It's not even that slow. I lied. I can do I can do eight hours for like three nights before I'm just like officially tired. Play this dagger spray while it still does damage. Half a month behind, Jesus. That's a lot of behind to be on sleep. I'm literally not even gonna use this fire potion because he's just gonna be already dead. Because bouncing flask is like really good here. 
I mean, that's fine. I have 63 health and two fire potions. That's a pretty good spot to be in against the big boy. Uh, do I want to... I don't... Mm, maybe one more dagger spray. Because it is the Tony. I think I would like to take damage to remove a card here. So we have more health than usual, and I have more strikes than I'd like, so... Going down to 32 is maybe a little daring, a little scaring. Hmm. Didn't get any of my good cards. God damn it. Noxious fumes. Hello. I think the plan is to like poison him and then kill him with like two fire potions next turn. Play Predator. Slam his jams. I mean fire potions are really good against Slime Tony, but not dying is also pretty good against Slime Tony. I'll take a backflip. This is the part where I upgrade Neutralize? Yeah. I don't have any other sources of weak in the deck. Upgrading Dagger's Ray would be pretty cool here. So would Bouncing Flask, but... Well, I think I already explained my reasoning so far. Yes. 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 Bronze Scales is not going to do very much here, though. Nor is Maw Bank, but that's to be expected. Neutralize upgrade coming into play here, taking 10 damage off his attack. So far, pretty worth. Um, could I split him? That would be 26 damage. He'd be down to 82? Yeah, that's not enough. So I guess, uh, blocking's back on the menu, boys. Perfect, I'll take one. I could try to go for another split. Let's see, if he takes 13, he goes down to 79, so like, yeah, if I play anything, he splits here. But it also means that he doesn't put five more slimes in my deck, which is kind of important. So it's not going to be an incredible split. 63. 81? You sure? I already don't remember what he was at <laughs> or how much poison he had. Ah, uh, so I could have neutralized. Either way, it doesn't really change how I wanted to play that turn. But thank you very much for correcting my math and magics. I think I want to be defensive and try to let the poison work its magic. I should have done the math. Uh, what do you split at? You split at 31? You're already splitting because of the poison. So let's help you out there. Mmm. 38. And I'm frail. Hold up. You're gonna split. So that's actually only 20. Oh, this is gonna suck. As usual, the back boys are aggressive as fuck. Luckily, they're dead. Okay. So I gotta deal with, like, 20-ish health slimes. Frail, only 17 health. So I need to block at least twice, or kill one of them. Well, one of those isn't happening, so... And I'll take damage from the bronze scales as well. Perfect. Ah, uh, they're already dead. Oh my, Womo, Shinderu, and all that. Say your prayers, Lardass, because you're already dead. Uh, 
Uh, these are cards. I mean, this one's not, but the other two are. I did get them. We got them together, you and me. Baby B. Nothing but mammals. Something, something, something. Discovery Channel. I'm just gonna click on Wraith Worm, because my brain has become, like, too tired to comprehend thought. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I was kinda hoping I'd just die there so I could go to bed. <laughs> but we will endeavor forward. Eternal Feather. That'll be like, what? Five cards. It'll be like a 12 health heal. It's not nothing. I have a Wraith Form in the deck. So being able to not nap. Hmm. Then again, if you have Wraith Form, you don't generally care how much strength the opponent has for a lot of the fight. I'm gonna take the Philo Stone. We also have like 80 max health, which is pretty good, as they say. Yeah, my whole brain's just like wanting to shut down at the moment. <laughs> oh, that doesn't bode well. I'm just like losing it. <laughs> like, I'm catching myself being like, I haven't thought a thought in my brain for like 10 seconds. I should probably do that. And my brain's just like, uh-huh. Yeah, we'll get right on it. Okay, how many holy fights of baloney? That actually looks like probably the best path. Right? Uh, there's like no other way to get two elites, two bonfires, by the looks of it. Sure. I'm just gonna click here and we're gonna go. We're gonna go before I just like pass out live on stream. Because that would be a disaster. I would like to make him weak. So he's gonna be weak next turn as well. The poison's gonna start ticking. What is this? Gambler's Brew. Could dig for Wraith Form here. Prevents like 12. That's only if it works though. Hey! Cool. That should give me enough time to just kill him. I don't think I drew Bouncing Flask, did I? Nope. It's a pretty good Gambler's Brew, I'd say. See you later, idiot. Yeah, 51 shield and strength and etc. Don't care. Backflip plus. Uh oh. I think Ray Forming before I get. Noxious fumes into play is a bit dangerous. It's like 24 damage. Oh my god. I think I might use this fire potion on one of these birds. Oh, I have a bronze scales. I should have just blocked. <laughs> Bye? Oh, fuck him in particular, I guess. Alright, well, that was an easier bird fight than I thought I was gonna get. Right, the scales. Deadly poison versus dodge roll. I don't have any dex, and dexterity is less important with wraith form anyway. So give me a deadly poison. 
Cool. Where's our shop? It's way up there. Or I could just get the Wraith form upgraded now. I'm just gonna upgrade the Wraith form and hope that that can carry me through the fire and the flames. I see. I can make swirlies happen too. I don't mean like, you know what I mean, like not toilet swirlies. You know what I mean, debuffs. Enfeebling spores. Yeah, well I have a uh, spooky ghost mode. So, have at you. Also bronze scales. Methinks you're dead. Yep. Alright, uh, I took what, three damage? That's pretty good for snake plant. To nap or not to nap? My upgrades are not, like, crazy good. What's our boss? I think I am going to nap just to be super safe here. There's always a chance that we get poor draws and then get completely blown out. Well, I guess I'm casting Wraith Form. Hmm. Didn't hit any of the targets I would have liked. for the fumes today. There we go. I think that's good. By the time I'm not, by the time I'm, uh, tangible again, I'll be able to just huck a fire potion at him. If I really need him dead that bad. You're going to die pretty soon, too. He's not making me vulnerable this turn. He's going to take three and then five, so he's already dead next turn. Yeah, so I think I just start working on this guy. Oh, he's right. They're going to take even more damage from Prawn Scales. Right. Yeah, so you're actually already dead. You're apparently vulnerable, but I don't think that matters very much. Nope. Good fight. I lost, what, like six health? Sucker punch plus. How much do I care about weak? Not like an incredible amount. No, we're skipping. Once upon a Sneko. Do I wait for the second one? No. I think I just go hard in the paint. It was easier to do with the slavers because a lot of my damage is spread out and hits multiple targets. Whereas this guy... Oh, good. Whereas this guy's just got like 120 HP straight up. That was a fantastic turn. Thank you, Sneko. How did you know what I wanted for Christmas? This was fortunately, like, a pretty decent turn. Hmm. 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 I may as well take a look. Perfect. Alright. Six damage from Sneko. I think I took one damage last turn. Can I kill him without the fire potion? No. Okay. Perfectly fine, noble use of a fire potion, I'd say, killing a dreaded Sneko. Nope. Anchor's pretty decent. I think at this point I want to upgrade Bouncing Flask. For Automaton. Um, at this point, well laid plans would be the card I want. I 
I guess I keep digging. Hmm. Not the best dig I could have done. Oh, and they all have extra strength. That's... That's wonderful. He's gonna be dying soon-ish. No corpse explosion for me. Four damage. Uh, that one. That's the one I'm playing. Alright, cool. I won the fight. Yep, they're gonna take poison plus bronze skills damage on top of the damage I'm able to fling at them. You're all dead. Wasn't too bad. Took like six damage or something. Perfect. Take a Caltrops. We could be fighting Book of Well, either of the elites that come next. Uh, multi attack. I think that's a pretty easy, well laid plans. I don't know that Calipers is very good with Wraith form. Nothing else here is really jumping out at me. I'm just gonna go with card remove. And Emergency Gambler's Brew. No, I think I have, hmm, I have a well-laid plans now, which means I can just hold Rayform for Hyper Beam turn, and Nap to soak up some of the damage I'll take before that. Yeah, I think we're fine. Well, what do you got? Hmm. Hmm, I am, hold up, I'm gonna drink this one. I forgot I changed that to the beta art. Uh, how much? You have 17 health. Fuck. Discard all non-attack cards in your hand. Huh. No, don't play that one. Alright. This may or may not go poorly. Good. I don't want to neutralize you, though. Hold the dagger spray, since he's going to have three boys. That's with weak. Oof. gonna put a bunch of shield on a bunch of dudes if I dagger spray I take an extra four damage 27 plus 6 is 33 Ooh. so I'm taking 20 right now hmm yeah I think maybe I'm not gonna dagger spray is this just full block I think it might be What do I want to hold on to? Thing is, these guys might shield each other, which makes the predator like that much worse. I did have a deadly poison. Hold the flask. Excuse me. He can't be attacking again. He has to be buffing here. Wait. Do they- wait. They both put their shield on him? Then shouldn't he have, like, 22 shield? Is that not how it works? Anyway. So he's still gonna have one boy, which means he might still attack. Unfortunately. So... Oh good, Rayform's down there. I was like, so I need to draw Rayform, like, now? Okay, he did not attack. Ah, uh, this- yeah. This is where unload becomes bad, because if I play unload, I cannot hold Wraith form. So, sorry unload. 
Yeah, this is about the time where Wraith Form seems like a particularly necessary card. I think I ignore these idiots and just put poison on them. Oh. No, ignoring them means I can't Bouncing Flask, though. Like, I can, but, like, it'll just hit these idiots instead. Hmm. Hmm. Did just take 18 damage from Thorns, though, so that's pretty good. Okay, one more turn. Alright. Uh, that should be enough, because he's already at almost 20 poison. With... Just barely double that in health. Yeah, we got him. Definitely took some damage, though. Or, I didn't nap. Right? How much health did I have? I think I only had 30-something. That's a good one. Don't want a calculated gamble. I think I do. We already have a Bouncing Flask Plus. Upgrade a card. Remove a card. What would the upgrade be? Well Laid Plans? I think we're at a point where Well Laid Plans upgrade would be pretty good. Could have gone Caltrops, could have gone Calculated Gamble. There were, there were options. But I think Well Laid Plans was the choice of choices there. I'm not particularly feeling either of these. I've got some okay card draw now. Two backflips, acrobatics, predator, calculated gamble. I don't think I need another predator. Okay, bronze boy. This is not the turn one I was looking for. <sighs> Thanks, ancient tea set. Kind of wish I'd bought that gambler's brew now. One of you assholes is going to take my wraith form. And then one of you assholes is probably going to take either well laid plans or noxious fumes. Man, this sucks. <sighs> yep, what are you taking? Calculated Gamble. Okay. Um, I'm actually fine with that. Uh, cool. I have well-laid plans in place, so I just want Reform back ASAP, basically. Ideally for its Hyper Beam turn, because then that'll uh, stop Hyper Beam, and then the turn after that. Sure is a lot of damage I'm taking. I can make you weak. Sure is not as much damage I'm taking. Hmm. A lot of basic cards and no dexterity, so those defense aren't doing a whole lot for me. You'll be dead by the time he hyper beams, so I'm just gonna do this. Yeah, you die this turn. You have calculated gamble? That's a lot less important now. Perfect. Alright, now I gotta start, like, really slamming the poison on him. Just trying to look for poison so I could hold it.
Oh, whoops. Shit. Gonna play the neutralize. Um, this isn't gonna get reshuffled in. I think I might be fucked. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna kill him. Well, uh, he doesn't attack next turn. So, like, it's, it's possible. Yeah, he's already at 47 poison. This is doable. Oh, we got him. We got him. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, we got him. Cool. I lost, like, half my health. So, napping was probably correct. See you later. Oh, my God. That did not take very long. <laughs> Once I started just exclu- Wow, that's a big attack. Once I started focusing exclusively on him. He has 17 strength? Holy shit. This is only, like, his second attack after Hyper Beam. I guess usually he's either weak or dead by now. I don't even get to see this most of the time. See you later. That Snacko Eye was such a nice pickup. Burst. I don't have anything really good to burst yet. Waiting for Nightmare. The Burst Nightmare Wraith Form Dream. Right now, like, the best thing to burst is, like, Bouncing Flask. Just, like, apply 32 poison for 3 energy seems pretty good. Like, Well Laid Plans is already upgraded. Otherwise, it's, like, Burst Survivor, Burst Backflip Plus. Still, it's better than these two. No, I'm definitely still occasionally napping. Look at, look at cards. Dig deeper for nightmare powers? Nightmare magic? I think that's probably better than Ring of the Serpent. Yeah, we're looking at cards, baby. Piercing Whale. Wow, those are good cards. It sucks. Why, can I take like one of those and put them on this reward screen instead? Ooh, I don't need two Welly Plans Pluses. not very good against awakened one is the problem if it weren't for awakened one i'd just be like i just scoop it i just scoop it right now being able to hold on to four cards a turn is huge yeah these are all not leg sweep crippling cloud footwork footwork lets me do stuff for like the half of the f the boss fight where i don't have wraith form in play that's kind of important these are these are all really good yeah, I can't kill that fast. And without Nightmare in the deck yet. I feel like Footwork also helps me get through, like, Giant Head. Backflip just got better. Because when I first looked at the screen, I hadn't seen, uh, I hadn't seen the Footwork yet. And I was like, uh, do I want another unupgraded Backflip? But 7 block 2 cards, I think, is worth picking here. Because I don't think I need two Noxious Fumes with a Sneko Skull and, you know, Burst and Poison cards. I think we're fine. Okie dokie. That Toast is starting to kick in. Took a little while, but uh, yeah, I'm definitely starting to wake up now. It's probably because I had it way later than I normally do. Because I was thinking, eh, I don't need... I was like, I just ate dinner... I don't need toast. Turns out I totally needed toast. I underestimated the power of toast. I can't go that way. I still have a bunch of money. Uh, that is three leads, three bonfires, and a shop to top it all off. Let's go. Oh, I'm full blocking. Cool. Remember when I gave up a Caltrops that I could have purchased earlier? I'm starting to think, hmm, maybe Caltrops. I mean, I could burst a defend, but.
Hooray! Don't have well laid plans. Uh, he's gonna be actually very dead, so... I take burn damage? I take burn damage? Fine. There are four backflips in the deck now? Good. Need more piercing wheels. Wow. <laughs> this deck this deck turned into a good deck. Crazy. It took like all of Act 2 to do it. But it turned into a good deck. Need to upgrade this footwork maybe. Pretty much just digging for noxious fumes here, so I don't. Hmm. So being at one energy is fine. Not a lot to do with this fear potion except for remove an artifact, I guess. This turn is gonna suck. They none of them double attacked. Praise Yevon. If he's in chat, I don't know. Um, smells like blocking. Smells like blocking. I think I'm still taking damage. Hold these ones. Yeah, I'm taking like eight damage here. Hmm. Hmm. Ooh. Can I like piercing whales literally the bottom card? Cool. Twelve plus nine is twenty-one. Taking 12 damage from this fight? God damn. Yeah, I need to upgrade that footwork. I have one block card. That's magical. I was about to say, have I not been picking block cards? And I'm like, my last two cards were literally backflip, backflip. Uh, I did skip a couple dodge and rolls, though. Cool, let's take 24. Could have just like killed him, maybe. Fear potion, save 12 health, save 10 health. Took a while. Okay. I don't think I can kill both of these in the same turn, though. I guess it depends on where this goes. Okay. Uh, got him. Yeah, that was a lot more damage than I would have liked to take. Yep. I think I'll take another backflip plus over acrobatics plus. They both draw cards. One of them... Also blocks, sometimes for 10. This fight is gonna be a problem. This is Fear Potion Town. Cool. I need to like burst Bouncing Flask. Perfect. Uh, I guess I'll hold those two. Caltrops literally doesn't do anything in this fight. Uh, ooh. If I Ray Form, that gives me like a ton of time to just build up poison on him. It means he hits me for his big final attack, though. If I don't reform now, I just need to like bum rush him down and then the poison doesn't matter. It's looking for burst. That's not going to happen anymore. Okay. Well, like I said, that was definitely one of the rougher fights for us, but we got it out of the way. 
this event was a fucking... Was it? Wait, what? What? No, 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 no. We fought... Yeah. We fought... Orbwalker, then... The, the fucking pudding. God damn it. Because I was like, isn't this our second fight? How is this already one of the hard ones? The answer is because, well... This is not our second fight. This is our final fight. And then... And then I start playing the, the Mortal Kombat theme. Perfect. Nothing wrong with that. I'm just gonna let him explode himself. Not like I have much choice. Well, I guess the I guess the alternative to letting him explode himself is die. If I die, he doesn't explode. Save a transient. Weak is becoming more important. Not going well. Oh boy. Fuck. Take eight. Yeah, I am just like slowly getting the shit kicked out of me. I'm taking like eight or more every single fight. It's not good. You're dead next turn. I'm gonna take some damage from bronze scales. Noxious Fumes is on the bottom, as usual. I don't have, uh, Corpse Explosion. You gotta be shitting me. I have, like, one turn to kill them in. That's fine. Got the one with more health. He's dead next turn, guaranteed. Toss my shit. Okay, so I just need to kill him. Perfect. And by perfect, I mean I lost way more health than I really wanted to there. Don't want any of those. Can I get an event? Purple fire spirits. Could I give them my predator? I could give them my predator here for the full heal. What's my upgrade? Footwork. Yeah. Well, predator, you've served me well, but it's time to say goodbye. Yeah. Well, I mean, those jaw worms start with five strength, which is why that's actually, like, a tough fight. If it was three jaw worms with, like, no other strings attached, it would not be that bad. Uh, it's screaming time. Actually, I might not have needed to scream, but that's fine. Got my fumes. Yeah, I probably, like, really didn't need to scream at all. I'm not even intangible. <laughs> Upgrading Burst's not terrible, either. Okay, there's the burns. He's still weak. I found all of my unupgraded backflips. Block for funsies? Okay, I'll hold these two. I think I'm gonna hold Rayform until I, like, can't block otherwise. I 
take one. I accept. Uh, he's still weak for three turns, so I think we're fine. I'd really like to put poison on him right here, but he's not intangible, and he's not attacking, and I mostly just played the backflip so I could stop the burns from harming me, so he's also going to die relatively soon. Yeah, he should be dead here pretty quick. Because he's going to take the poison damage at least twice, which should kill him. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay, good fight. One damage nemesis? I can't complain. I could, but... Like about... I guess... I guess the, the thing I complain about is that I took one damage instead of none. That's too many. Actually, I'm intangible, so... They only deal one and not two. So I can just hold both of these. Then he's dead next turn? Perfect. I could have tried to kill him that turn. It's probably doable. Mm. I don't think I have a very good reason not to pick Deflect here. I don't have a Pocket Watch or a Choker or anything of the sort. I'm gonna recall here while it's still safe to do so. Oh man, what a shame. I have to give up the boot. How heart-wrenching. Whatever will I do without Yee Boot? I was thinking of using the Fear Potion here just because of how many attacks I had. Ah, uh, hello, my backflip! Hello, my backflip! I found backflip. I don't know if you noticed. I'm looking for footwork. Burst deflect. Take two. Yeah, Orange Shotgun was not, like, a good pickup, but I don't think the damage from Caltrops is going to matter that much. Yeah, I think at this point I just want to dig for more poison. I just want to dig for more poison. Just want to dig for more. I have well laid plans. I shouldn't have tossed that. Oh, okay. We might be having a bad time soon. He's got 34 poison. I've got a pretty decent chance of killing him. Wow, that's all my backflips. Boy, howdy. There, wow, there's n n not a lot of damage down there. Thirty-seven. That'd be another seven. That'd be forty-four. I got him. Eight. Eight. Uh. Got him. Might have been a waste of a Corvus explosion, but... Oh, wait. Who are we fighting, Time Eater? Take a second footwork. Okay. We have a deck that can, like, handle problems now. Getting that slow value, baby. Okay, this fight could be an issue. Excuse me. Alright, we're gonna Bouncing Flask. Then we're gonna Dig. Yes, please. Okay, good. Uh, we're getting his poison up there. Got the other footwork. Hold the Wraith form. Okay, we've got five Dexterity, which is a pretty good amount for dealing with Giant Head, especially if he's being weak. 
which he is. I think I'm holding the burst and not the wraith one here. So I'll double defend because dagger three and piercing will do basically nothing in this fight. All right, one damage. He's already weak. Take another six. Oh, he's got regen too. Yeah, that's probably worth 16 poison. Okay, so I've taken 7 damage from Giant Head. I'm at the point now where I would like the Wraith form. Because he's going to be dead soonish. Did I... Did I mention that thing about the Wraith form? Fuck. Oh, it's full block. I accept. I'm gonna want to hold bursting with or bursting wheel. I'm gonna want to hold burst for after I wraith form, so that I can use it on le poisson. I think I'm gonna use this one right here. Okay, big boy. Seven regions not helping matters very much. Okay, 77 poison. That's pretty good. Yeah, he should be dead. Cool. Hold up the backflips. We are still positive on dexterity. Yeah, he's only got 45 health. Alrighty. Yeah, that was a pretty good giant head fight, I'd say. Getting for 53, don't very much care. That's a card. Hold up, I'm gonna like... Uh, raise my chair up a bit. Oh, here we go. Oh my god, my back. My back and legs and spine and neck. Oh, this is so much better. Yeah, I need to get a new chair eventually. This one's gotten to the point where, like, it very, very... Like, it sinks down so slowly that I don't notice it, but, like, every three days, I'm just, like, considerably lower than I would otherwise be. Oh, man, I haven't been up here in a while. Uh, what am I looking at? Cards. Ooh! I think one escape plan is fine against Time Eater. Definitely not napping here. Upgrading the other footwork. Okay. Yeah, we have a kunai now. Which means... Shiv stuff? Without chain? What do you mean chain? Chain? Without chain? I don't know what that means. I think I'm just playing strikes. Okay. Yu-Gi-Oh joke. I'll take your word for it. I was trying to think of like any relic or cart and I'm like I don't I don't know any chain. Uh, who do I wraith form here? I guess it depends on what I pull out of this. Mm. It's looking like a wraith form to me. Hold fumes and bouncing flask. 
This could get ugly. Double dagger spray kills like literally none of them. I'll take it. Don't need the block for next turn, so. What the f I think it's shake shake, not single shake. Shake shake. There you go. Okay, no longer intangible. Dexterity's going down. I need her to die quickly. Of course she's attacking me for 35. What else would she do? I'm gonna take three in order to make her explode soon. <laughs> Hopefully soon, I think. I'm gonna assume she's summoning next turn. Well, I've assumed wrong. Uh, luckily my block cards, like, still block for a good amount. Okay, she's already down to 16. Yeah, if she summons next turn, she's just, like, actually hooped. Well, actually, no matter what she does, she's actually hooped. Yeah, getting some shivs to help out Kunai would be significant. Mercury Hourglass is not bad. I don't think I want to slice. This is a very good shop. I'm not sure I'm taking any of these relics. It's like a hold up. Time for math of magic. 41 plus 166 plus 94. Leaves me with like 281 gold. Which means I have a good chance of getting something decent at the next shop too. Corpse Explosion is good for the, um, the Spire Boys, the Spear, and the Shield. It's also good for Donudeka. We have a 50-50 chance of fighting here. Uh, no Shivliness. How good is Art of War? Is it better than Corpse Explosion? Corpse Explosion is, like, really good in... One of the hardest fights in the game. Hmm. And I only have one piercing mail, so yeah, I'll take a dark shackles here. Uh, my potions are not great. But that's fine. And this is where I upgrade the final footwork. You, you could also make an argument for upgrading burst, but I think... I think the powers are important. Okay, so we went from having zero dexterity to nine dexterity and above over the course of like an act and a half. Don't think I'm gonna play that one here. I think I will play this one here though. No. I think I can save the poison for now and just keep him a little extra weak. You gotta be fucking joking me. Like, really? Alright. That was like one of the worst card orders I could have had. All the footworks are on the bottom. So was well laid plans. So are most of the backflips. I 
gonna hold these two. Okay, now that we've got all the footworks in play. I think I'm just gonna leave him here at nine. Let uh Mercury Hourglass and Noxious Fumes. Holy fuck. I would like to make him weak. Hmm. Hmm. That's not good. Making him lose 9 strength actually makes him lose, like, more than that. I don't know if it's much more than Survivor, though. Wow. Alright. This Time Eater fight is going way fucking worse than I would have imagined. There's, like, not enough weak in this deck. I seem to be discovering. Okie dokie. He's taking, what, 18 damage from the thorns. I definitely don't want a wraith form yet. I don't think I can afford to play two more cards here. I think leaving him at nine is too dangerous. Take another one. Wow. At least we're at the part where, like, he's only very slowly beating me to death and not, like, hitting me crazy, crazy hard. Yeah, I shouldn't have done it like that. Wait, he's already below half. Did... Wait. What? Oh, I hit him this turn, didn't I? I'm confused. I'm, I'm losing it. I'm losing it. Okay. Yeah, now he's gonna buff and heal. So the Bouncing Flask was pointless. I'm just gonna stop here and leave him at four. myself with only three cards to play again. Okay, this is a perfect time to flip him. Well, not flip him, you know what I mean. To let his time thingy go off. I think now I want to wraith for him. Then I'm going to burst bouncing flask next turn. Because that's like 32 poison? Yeah, that's a lot of damage. Hold these two. Okay, he should be dead by the end of the next turn with the poison I'm putting on him. I think I'll just flip him now? I can't. Whatever. He's guaranteed dead. I did lose a lot of health in this fight, though. I'm kind of worried about the next one. It's like, end turn. 
I also didn't get to proc Kunai a single time. Okay, Donudeka. It's not a lot of block. I'm gonna play the Corpse Explosion here to get through his first two artifacts. Don't think I want an energy potion. Mm. This is not the best turn I could have had. All right, I guess I'll take three. Neat. It's not that bad. Two. Still don't have the well aid plans. Backflip blocks for a lot more than Piercing Will does here. In fact, so does Defend. Especially while he's weakened. Yeah. So, we're getting hit for 38 here. He still has baloney. Of a most delicious kind. I'm digging for corpse explosion at this point. I think I'm getting pretty close to the point where I can uh, reform. Or where I might have to reform. Problem is, bouncing, bouncing Flask is not going to hit just one target. Sixteen times two is pretty easy to block. He's finally starting to take poison. That's another 26. What does that put me at? 26, 36, 43? Which is one short. I'm not going to calculate again because that throws away my... Ray form. Cool. It's quite probable that because of the thorns, I should have been focusing on this guy. Now we'd have like way less health. Looks like it's Wraith form time, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks, Orchalcom. I think that's the first thing Orchalcom's done. I need you to die very quickly. I'm gonna... No, I shouldn't play Piercing Wheel here, because it will become better than my defense once my dexterity gets low enough. We'll also have a bunch of plated armor, too. He's actually getting pretty dead. Oh, in a pickle. I'm like one turn short. Yeah. Maybe I should have used a... Hmm. Probably could have played a kunai there. Yeah, that's a lot of bullshit.
I don't think there's any way I can make sure he dies. Can we can you, though? Uh, yeah, that's definitely doable. Okay, so he's dead next turn, so I only need to block for, like, three? And then I'm totally fine. Hooray! Victory secured. I took way less damage there than against Time Eater. Lord almighty, I took, like, 30-something against Time Eater. I took maybe, like, 10 here. gonna have to go refill this water. Alright, he dies and explodes. You take 530. I get no prizes. 2001, baby. Alright, I'm gonna go refill my water. I'll be right back. Uh, let's... Everybody pray. Everybody pray to Iron Jesus for me. For a fantastic shop. the thing. The back of the chair hit the microphone again, didn't it? Approach the door. Like, couldn't you just, like, go back down the spire and, like, grab the keys if you got up here and you didn't get them all? Alright, I'm only missing 13 health. I think upgrading burst. I think I want to upgrade burst. That opens up a lot of potential stuff. Alright. I don't see any prayers for our Jesus in the chat. Alright. Who cares? Who cares? Runic of Decahedron. There's an Apotheosis. I can get Apotheosis and Footwork. That upgrades all my backflips. That upgrades Dark Shackles, Corpse Explosion. That upgrades a lot of cards. These potions suck. Means not grabbing a piercing wheel. That's a little iffy. Between one dark shackles, one piercing wheel, and one wraith form, I can get through three times fifteen attacks. If I get my footworks early enough, I can block through one or two of them. Let me make absolutely sure I'm not a super idiot at math. Yeah, two seventy-five. I have six gold left. Alrighty, time to rock and roll. I do have a bunch of energy. Cool. I think getting rid of his artifact here is more important than doing it to the heart. Uh, because I'll have time to get Noxious Fumes up against the heart. Because he doesn't start with his artifacts. Okay, no guarantee what uh, next turn will hold. Also, I'm taking 12. Oh, no. No! <laughs> of course it was the only two strikes in the deck. And the... Only other dagger spray in the deck. Of course, those were the fucking cards I pulled. Of course. It's not like I have fucking, like, more backflips than attacks in this goddamn deck. Die. Or, like, the same number. I don't die, but thank you very much, Demon King. I 
I gained a dexterity. I'll just take 42 damage. Nothing wrong with that. No siree, Bob. Well, I think I'm gonna play Wraithform. And dig for well-aid plans? Nope. Those were like some of the best cards in my deck. It would be cool if I had them. I had hope. I had hope in my heart. But it was for nothing. I might need these Dark Shackles very soon. I am no longer intangible. 61 damage, you say? I still have 9 dexterity, though. That's, uh, that's a lot of damage. Around these parts. I'm gonna keep these, two. Dark Shackles lets me turn around, at least. I really need you guys to die. Like... I'm quite desperate for that to be a thing that happens. I'm not sure if you realize how important it is to me. Playing Corpse Explosion. I have an energy potion? No. If I'm making it out of this fight, I'm going to need everything I can get to beat the heart. Yeah, no access to shivs. <sighs> Made this kunai a little rough. If I turn around, you go up to like 29. No, you go up to 28. You gain 10. You go down to 16. You lose 8. So, or sorry, you you gain 9. So turning around actually costs me a little bit here. So I don't want to. Which means I can't play Corpse Explosion this turn. Twenty-four, thirty-four, forty-three, forty-five. Even less than that. Okay, you shouldn't be attacking. Perfect. So the plan is, a corpse explosion on you. Dark shackles to turn around. Also become weak. Please draw me a skill. Thank you, Jesus. Hokey dokey. I need Pantograph. Or maybe like Fossilized Helix. That's not very good. That's very bad. That's very bad. Well, that's the run. That's the run! World's best turn two. World's greatest. Holy fuck, that took an extra hour. <laughs> I started this run 70 minutes ago. Alright, well, unfortunately, it is that time once again. If you liked what you saw, feel free to follow both here on Twitch, as well as the various social media video hosting platforms linked down below. Next stream is tomorrow night from 1 a.m. till 3 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. If you don't know what time that is in your time zone, that is approximately... 21 hours from right now. At that time, we'll be continuing our never-ending quest to Slay the Spire. You can check out previous episodes of both Slay the Spire, as well as other games I've streamed at both YouTube and BitChute, linked down below. Um, and feel free to join the community Discord, which is also linked down below, and Belfigor has so kindly linked it in chat as well. Uh, we're going to be raiding somebody, so feel free to stick around for that, whether you do or not. Thank you for joining me, and have a good night.